so hey guys welcome back to my channel developers corner so in this video we are going to create our react admin panel for our e-commerce app okay so if you guys are new on this channel so what you can do is you can go to my channel and from here you can go through with node.js e-commerce app for backend and for react ui you can go through with this video or if you want to do in parts then you can go in parts also okay so let's start our I mean react admin panel app okay let me close this now go to okay, let me delete we don't want this so open in terminal mm -mm. so npx create react tab admin app okay install it so in this project i am going to use redux toolkit on design on design charts okay so let be let it be installed so let me show you the demo app our app is going to like work something like this okay we are not going to make all of this Mm, we will use whatever we need okay and in this video i am going to make this admin panel ui and in the next video we will learn how we can integrate with our backend okay so backend video i also showed you that you can go from it okay so let it be installed why it is taking so much time so till then let me let it be installed So as you can see our react app is installed so now code mm, what's our app name admin dash app okay so open it in vs code now go to terminal open it terminal so npm i react icons i'm going to use let it be installed so npm i react router dom we need router dom
and one more thing we need is npm i on d on design so till then it is installing let's start creating our folder structure so components components oh shit delete it mm -hmm. components and then we have pages okay so inside pages we have dashboard dashboard dot js and dashboard dot js login dot js okay we have forgot password dot js then we have reset password dot js okay so for now i am taking only this in components what we have to do we have to create main layout main layout layout dot js okay so let's start our afc creating our component save it let me okay forgot password and same for dashboard and same for this so now what we have to do is mm, go to let me remove this unwanted these unwanted files that i don't need shift delete so go to index.js we don't need this remove it control x okay control x control x okay so in this we are going to use bootstrap 5 so control x bootstrap cd in 5 and give it to you hashtag root okay and i'm going to use roboto font so font okay google fonts roboto so let me install now let me select okay go here so these fonts i have selected now do one thing copy controls okay copy and paste it here control v remove this we don't need this and go to control c in our okay app.css control a control x now body control v okay so after that we have mm -mm, roboto okay so let it for now we only this so now go to undesign okay open this now go to getting started okay you have to search our layout so if you go to layout layout where is layout mm -mm. where is layout okay here we have layout okay now go down mm -mm. okay we are going to use this custom trigger yeah let me check the code javascript yeah we are going to use this now hmm okay const app header side import layout theme okay control c go to main layout.js control v remove this and we have collapsed set token we don't need this token and all so control x inside this main layout usage sorry copy it control v and after that we have our layout so copy this layout control c and inside this we have okay, return 
copy this layout now inside this div control v so if we start our app npm start let's check what output we are getting okay can't resolve dot logo dot svg so go to index okay app dot js remove this and remove this header so type h1 header sorry not mm, it will be home for now okay so we are getting home okay so now what we have to do is go to app.js okay you know, here what we need to do is import browser router edge router routes and route okay so first of all router okay now routes inside routes we have route route okay make it self close path is equal to mm -mm, slash okay path is equal to slash element is equal to mm, dashboard okay pages dashboard.js it is saved app.js okay let me check yeah dashboard okay oh sorry guys here we have to give login for dashboard we will create our other layout so login mm -mm. go to login.js now if we check sit if we check login so slash okay so then copy it again so this one is reset dash password on reset password we have reset password and then forgot dash password and inside forgot password element we have forgot password oh shit forgot password okay so here what we need to do is inside this element we have to pass main mm, main layout okay and it will be slash admin and it will be not self closed so route inside this route we have to give route make it self closed index index means slash admin and our element is equal to element will be dashboard okay so we are getting one error let me check okay main layout dot js color pg container is not defined now if we check let me check main layout okay color class name background okay mm -mm. so for now we are not giving the background color let me remove it if we refresh color which container is not defined mm -mm. control less okay so we are getting login if we go to admin so we are getting like this okay i'm not oh let me check okay where is our menu okay logo i think there is some problem const token mm -mm. const token let me check okay do one thing let me copy the wall maybe there is some problem 
so control a control v and change this app to main main layout okay and if you will check okay so now mm, go to undesign okay open it in open it with code sandbox now go to index.css copy this control c now go to let me close all the files reset password now we will work on main layout.js only so let me open this open to the side control v okay so we are getting something like this so let me do one thing let me co cut this and we will save our main css here okay so what we need to do is mm, let me inspect it in oh shit inspect now go to body inside body we have root so what we have to do is dot and dash layout so minimum height will be 100 ph so if we will check so we are getting our output something like this now so our sidebar is ready and our main structure is also ready okay so our main structure is ready so now what we will do is we will create our login page forgot password page okay and our like forgot password reset password and login page so now go to slash so it will be login mm, close this close this okay mm, save so now go to login.js open it with open to the side okay now inside this login what we have to do is so class okay sorry style mm, style background background it will be mm, let me check this color so this color is fft3333 so hashtag fft333 okay and inside this we have a div okay this div have okay class name oh shit class name py dash 5 inside this we have class name my dash 5 and w dash 25 bz dash white background white and rounded dash 3 okay and mx dash auto so mx dash auto auto oh shit auto and p dash 3 so inside this let me make one component which is custom input so custom input dot js okay so r a f c e okay inside this we have to use so bootstrap or let me check mm -mm. okay select radio input <laughs> so large input mm -mm. <coughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Auto height. Which one we will use? Okay. Let me copy the simply one JavaScript. So input placeholder. Control C. Okay, I think we need to import it also. Control C. 
control V so inside this custom input yeah let me use boot chef floating input boot chef 5 go to this now okay layout content forms floating labels okay copy this control C and control V and let make it this input self closed so this data we will get from props remove this control x so const mm, we have type then placeholder or we can take label label then we can i underscore id i underscore class i underscore class is equal to is equal to props okay so mm, class name we want it as it is is equal to mm -mm. so we have formed as control and dollar if any class so i underscore class mm -mm. okay i underscore class i think we can remove this so i underscore class now same thing we need to do this for mm -hmm. here we can give i underscore id okay then we have placeholder so it will be label and same we need to give here label inside this four label and this four we need to change html four okay i underscore id and this type will be type the form floating mbd3 yeah now it is perfect now what we need to do is go to here so now let me import custom input now type will be sorry type text placeholder email mail address okay and id will be email okay now second thing will be password so type will be password mm. password and id will be pass okay and let me make it m small now after that let me check the output okay we are getting something like this and before it we need to give a form form oh shit inside this form we have input now button so style mm, copy this control c control v okay and class name will be border dash zero p dash mm, p x dash three p y dash two and its type will be submit and oh sorry submit and login and before that we have h three login let me check the okay authentication sign in so login to your account to continue so after that we have p so login to your account to continue okay and make it 
क्लास नेम टेक्स्ट डेस सेंटर ओके सो वी आर गेटिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस लेट मी इंक्रीज द पेडिंग ओके सो क्लास नेम विल बी टेक्स्ट डेस वाइट एफ डब्ल्यू बोल्ड डब्ल्यू डैश हंड्रेड so we are getting something like this okay now here one thing we have to do minimum height will be 100 which okay so we are getting this now after that what we have to do is my dash 5 okay mm -mm. p dash 4 py dash 5 Okay, let it be one thing we can do we can give vr control c v v v okay so we are getting this now what we need to do is control a control c now go to forgot password control v and in forgot password what we need to do we need to send the mail this will be forgot password and Please enter your registered email to get mm, to get the reset password mail. Okay, so button type will be send link okay send link so if we go to for code dash password so we are getting something like this okay now input type text placeholder oh sorry guys it will be label it should okay label login.js this also we will be label okay so we are getting output something like this so after that what we need to do is let me copy ctrl c go for reset password ctrl a ctrl v oh one thing i forgot in reset password we need to change this so reset password okay and same for this forgot mm -mm. it will be forgot forgot why it is coming small here yeah. forgot password okay so in forgot password we need password inside this label we have mm, new password id will be pass and copy it so it will be c o n f i r m confirm pass and confirm okay now if we will check okay send link here this will be reset password okay reset password and same we need to change up here so please enter your new password okay so we are getting this so it will be oh shit 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 I have done wrong yaar okay do one thing control c go to reset password control v now make it control z okay okay if you check so we are getting for good password if we will go to reset password so we have this interface.
so now what we need to do is on click of login we have to go so instead of button for some time i'm taking link okay so i need link import link import link from from where react router dom so it will go to to is equal to slash admin so let me check if it is working okay yeah it's working so for some time we will give text dash center okay text decoration none fs dash 5 let me check yeah so if we log in so we are coming here now let's create our header and let's configure our sidebar so inside our sidebar okay let me check go back oh one thing i forgot i think mm, in forgot password reset password in login.js we have to give one more link which is do link link it will be forgot password okay forgot password so to it will go to forgot dash password forgot password now last name load dash right oh sorry mm, last name mb dash 3 text dash end let me check the output what we are getting go back yeah we are getting our forgot password so if we click on forgot password we are going to forgot password if we click on login then we are coming to our dashboard page okay so now what we have to do is let me configure our sidebar so inside our sidebar what we have is let me open notepad so first is our dashboard second one is our catalog inside our catalog we have product and product list product and product list then brand and its list category and its list and we have okay product brand category and color and its list okay product product category okay brand and color list okay and inside blog we have blog and blog list then category and list okay and add blog and same for all add product product brand category list okay and we have inquiries inquiries okay so coupons we have coupons inside this coupon we have to add our coupon and it, its list so coupon and coupon list okay we have product blog okay orders customers we have okay customers orders let me check if i am forwarding something customer orders marketing okay inside marketing we have coupons i think that's it Mm, yeah so let's start creating now close all of this now go to main layout.js so inside our main layout we have to give make it blank now go to react icons react icons okay we have to search dashboard okay i'm going to use this now 
Okay, let me check AI outline dashboard control V. So to use this, what we need to do is import import what this from react icons slash mm, ai okay so let me check what we are getting okay we are getting our icon okay mm -mm. and its name is label will be dashboard okay so after that what we have to do is okay default selected key is go to this okay blank one let me remove all of this so first thing we are getting is our dashboard Okay, now mm -mm. let me copy it again. Second thing we have customers, customers, okay, customers. So it will go to customers. So here, what we need to do is on click on click it's equal to function um, okay what is giving error option on click inside this we have to pass key and we have to use navigate so const navigate is equal to use navigate okay if key is equal to is equal to sign out and do nothing else mm, navigate navigate e let me check if it is working okay customers admin slash customers if we refresh yeah it is working properly now we if we are going to okay admin slash customers yeah it is working properly so this is how you have to do so next thing we have control c control v okay this one will be product and here we have okay sorry catalog 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 okay inside this we have our children so we have to take an array and we have to pass the same as an objects okay so first thing will be add product okay and here it will go to product and let me check the icon for that mm, cart type okay mm, which we can use Mm -mm. okay let's use this yeah i'm not focusing on icons guys okay mm, and let me remove this so here we will get this control v control v let me check okay so catalog inside this we have product okay sorry guys i have done one thing wrong control v and this will come here okay now if you will click so it is going to product open close yeah 
it is working fine so second thing is users so okay mm -mm. user mm -mm 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 -mm. which one we will use okay ai okay let's use this now go to here control v so ai outline user and pass it here control v and let me increase the size for that so to increase the size what you have to do is class name fs test for okay let's check what we are getting yeah now it is looking good and fs test for okay so after that we have control c control v product list and this will go to product test list list okay so we are getting two things okay inside this product product after that we have okay now go to check if we got something about brand okay copy this Mm. okay let me check this si so here what you have to do is import this from from react icon slash si okay go down now he will be brand now icon will be control v make it self close class name will be fs test 4 after that we have label and inside this label we have brand okay copy the same control c control v it will go to list dash brand okay and here we will write this brand list okay so let me check okay brand brand list product product list okay so here one more thing is which is category so instead of this we have to write category and it will be this test brand okay category okay so let me check okay we are getting brand brand list brand brand list oh guys i think i copied it twice okay mm, category category brand brand product. why it is showing multiple times okay yeah now it is fine so let me check if i got some icon for category okay copy 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 this go up so import this from react icons sorry guys react oh shit yeah react icon slash bi so after that we have to do is mm, control v control v so we are getting something like this okay and there is one more thing which is color mm. so in ai we have to copy this after that we have okay let me copy it here for some time control c control v remove this control x and control v okay and it will be color mm. okay c o l o r color so let me check 
okay we are getting color color list so from here we will add our product color okay so after that we have okay customers color list yeah it is working fine so after that we have orders now go to go to go to go to okay go to here now okay copy this mm. okay control v orders mm. orders so inside orders let me check if i got some order 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 no 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 guys okay mm -mm. let me check if i found something suitable orders oh, oh. okay list no 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 okay let's copy this okay import this icon so inside this order we have to control v go up so import this from react react icon slash fa okay so we are getting our orders okay after that we have inquiries and inquiries and blocks control v so it will go to blog and shit blog let me check if i code something blog okay so copy this go up so f a okay comma v go down change this icon control v so inside this we have our children children now copy this control c control v okay we have to wrap in object so it will be blog okay so first will be add blog after that we have okay blog dash category mm, add blog category add blog category then control v blog dash category dash list so blog category list and after this we have control c control v okay blog dash list and it will come like this so blog list so if i check so we are getting let me copy some different icons so for edit mean to add we have this icon mm -hmm. okay go up now import control v from from react icon slash i m okay blog blog category okay now i think that's it so after that we have inquiry so for that copy this control c and before this we have to copy so inquiries okay and oh sorry it will be inquiries and this will be e inquiries okay so it will go to inquiries now okay we have dashboard customer catalog order blog inquiries okay 
I think that's it for okay so let me configure our dashboard mean sidebar okay I need index.css open to the side so we will take our main inside main so overflow why scroll okay or main overflow y scroll so let me copy so this will be ant layout cider so to dot ant layout dash cider its width will be let me copy some css from here now go to copy this control c control v so it will be 250 and in mogul mode let me copy this class control c after that dot this it will be control c control v it will be 80 80 let me check if it is working properly okay no it is not so what we have to do is to override the css we need to add important yeah now it is working properly so we have cut time okay so i think yeah that's it now we have to change this color so go to title inspect it let me check the class name okay i think it's dot logo so to dot logo background color will be hashtag f what is that color mm. login.js it's fft333 so it's fft333 okay and its margin will be zero yeah we are getting this now let me check this header height so its height will be 64 pixel okay so we are getting this and inside this we have mm, where is okay here let me make it close okay then it's two oh so it will be dev corner okay let me wrap it in span or do one thing h2 okay here we need one more image okay so class name text test white fs test 5 text test center py dash 3 let me check so we are getting this okay mb dash 0 okay let me check okay this s2 is taking padding i think mm, okay let me give more padding from top and bottom py dash 4 mm -hmm. Okay, let it be so if we wrap it here we need to show only the logo so let me check mm. okay mm -mm. what we can do is let's do let's wrap it in span control x pen control b and here we will take dc okay control x wrap it in span also so it will be class sm dash logo it will be class name lg dash logo 
ng dash logo so what we need to do is when dot and layout out layout slider collapsed we need to show dot sm dash logo will display block by default it will be sm dash logo by default it will be display none okay and control c control v lg dash logo it will be display none so let me check what we are getting yeah it is working okay we can give some transition to this lg dash logo let me try so transition 0.3 second hmm Mm -hmm. Control C. Let me check. Okay, leave it here. You guys can do yourself. Okay. Oh shit. Control X. So yeah. So we are getting this now after that what we have to do is let me increase the font size of this so inspect it oh shit yeah inspect mm, it will be aunt menu title content so controls c dot this Font size will be font size will be sixteen pixel. Okay, yeah, now it is good. Okay, now it is looking good. So after that, let me create this header. So to create the header, what we need to do is let me make it side so let's come into logo okay one more thing we need to do is import import outlet from react router dom and here we need to give outlet okay so here now we are getting our dashboard page inside this now go to header let's create our header so let's take a div inside this div we have the last name justify justify content and and let me take h1 this 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 for some time okay it's not working okay header oh do one thing give class name d dash flex and add this class control x here okay and it will be between between okay so we are getting something like this and make it p x dash 3 Mm -mm. No, guys, PS test 3, PS test 5. Oh, shit. PE test 5. Okay, so we are getting something like this. So, if you want to change this icon, let me check if mm, toggle. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, hamburger, hamburger menu. Mm, mm, which we can take here. Yeah. Let me check all if I got something. Okay, we have AI outline menu. 
okay this one we have which one we can use okay let's use this one so I'll go up control V control V so AI outline let me remove this we don't need this go out okay control V so it will be I think left okay if we will check we are not getting anything nice oh. okay collapsed mm -mm. why it is happening mm -mm -mm. okay AI what's the problem let me check go to console duplicate key duplicate key list test category enter two children with the same key so header okay okay let it be same here otherwise it will take lot of time if I started config configuring everything mm -hmm. let me do some padding prompts starting okay yes there's one yeah now it is looking fine okay so here what we need to do is let's create this side part okay so inside this div we need to take d dash flex gap dash 3 gap test 3 align items center let's take two divs inside div we have one more div in this div we have to show our image and here h5 Mm, h5 name and then we have email address so now peep and after that we have p 53 at the gmail.com so let me copy this image mm, save image address okay copy image address and paste it here let me check what I'm getting yeah so now class name d dash flex gap dash 3 align items center okay and then we have h5 class name text dash dark I think that's why it is not coming because of color. Let me check. Mm -mm. We are getting mail. Why it is going so up? Okay. Gap test 3 due. Mm -mm. Okay, H5 font size. What's the problem here? Where is our H5? What is why it is going so up? Mm -mm. Oh, it is taking height. Okay h5 and this p line height is more okay so let's give some css to it so we have okay header 
let me check the class name so mm -mm, control c so dot and layout header h5 line height will be 30 pixel dot and layout header again p line height will be 30 pixel okay let me check if you are getting properly yeah mb dash zero remove this we don't need it and same class name mb dash zero so we are getting something like this now this image width will be 32 height will be 32 go to 32 thanks guys your spot thanks guys for your support i am very happy okay so let's check the css for that so it's 14 and 13 so font size will be 14 pixel mm -mm, 20 and its font size will be 13 pixel Okay, let me remove this yeah we are getting nice now it is looking fine okay so before that we have the bell icon so notification notification bell we have so copy this and go up so import this from react icon slash io and control c go down and in this view okay very the view yeah. in this view shit yeah control what i'm doing this fuck mm -mm. Control V. What is happening? Control V. Please, yar, why you are irritating me? Okay. So we are getting our notification. So span class badge. So BG dash warning rounded dash circle p dash one inside this we have three okay class name position dash relative okay inside this pen we have position position absolute let me check what i'm getting yeah so now go to so dot badge so dot and layout header mm -mm. do dot badge so it will be top top will be i think 16 pixel from right it will be from right it will be minus six pixel let me check yeah we are getting our output so let me give this class name fs dash four yeah now it is looking good okay so let me increase the gap gap dash four mm -hmm. reset so we are getting our output something like this now let's move to the next step so let's start creating our dashboard guys i am creating this dashboard i mean second time last time i recorded but that video is damaged i don't know why okay so
last thing what we need to do is okay Mm -mm, dashboard okay so now go to dashboard.js dashboard.js app.css okay so app.css so inside this or do one thing go to main layout Mm. here take main inside this our outlet so okay now we are getting this okay let me check dashboard main mm -mm. okay we have main okay we don't need to take main because it is already coming from that layout okay so we have dashboard now do one thing go to go to go to go to go to dashboard.js so inside this too we have to take h3 dashboard okay so we are getting this now after that we have three cards so class name class name mb-4 inside this we have a div inside this we have three div which are our cards so class name d flex justify content justify content between align items line items center gap dash 3 okay and inside this two we have three okay last name d dash flex let me check the dash flex let me check the structure okay mm -mm -mm. what we need to do okay inside main we have background color okay let's remove this background color go to index.css so here we have main background color will be transparent so we are getting this now oh shit important yeah now it is fine go to dashboard.js so inside this we have bg dash white p dash 3 rounded dash 3 inside this we have two divs okay two div we have okay one two so inside this we have two div controls c v oh shit tr yeah. mm -mm. okay inside this we have two div so inside h2 total after that p so in p oh in p we have to show okay first of all we need to take p then we have to h1 mm, make it p and make it h3 or h4 so it will be dollar 100 or whatever 1100 so we are getting this now go up inside this t dash flex what we need to do is make it flex dash grow dash one so it will come like this now we have compared to a prel now go to the next two 
so inside this we have compared compared to a prayer compared to prayer to 0 to 2 okay and upon it we have hmm okay at 6 32 percent whatever it is okay so we are getting something like this now do one thing it's justify justify content base between align items 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 and so okay let me check okay so now come to this p class name mb-0 name here class name mb-0 so we are getting something like this now come to this two here class name d dash flex justify okay flex dash column justify content and okay oh justify content and flex dash column I think here in oh shit man align items okay so we are getting something like this now what we need to do is mm -mm. okay to this p we don't have to remove this class so class name mb dash zero okay so we are getting something like this now we need our arrows so arrow mm. so we will use this so go up so import import oh shit so import this from react icons slash bs and same we need this okay this one is down bs arrow then left we need the upper one okay this one and copy this copy here now go to go to go to where is that percentage okay here hmm so it's bs just on this right mm -mm. okay slash slash so we are getting something like this okay so now we have to show it green or red so now what we will do is we have to show this color green or this red if we are in if we are growing then we have to show it red so for that what we need to do is mm, okay let me add glass name green okay dot green dot green so color will be green mm. and we will make it dynamic we will make this class dynamic okay and one class is dot red so color will be red let's go to this one so class 
name <coughs> red okay so we are getting something like this so after that we have this income statics for that we will use undesigned charts so install it control c okay control shift so okay control v and install it so that it be installed oh we are getting error to accept an incorrect potential okay while resolving on d5 but not just for a full report see this open file okay so if go with test test force Mm -mm -mm. okay let's close it now go to undesign charts examples okay mm, basic line then basic column copy this control c go up control v then we have data in this config control c inside dashboard we have this and then control c and in last what you have to do is let's close this wrapper <coughs> so dot empty dash or mm, h last name mb-4 class name mb-4 and it will be statics income statics so after that we have a div dot oh div inside this we have this so if we check so we are getting our output like this so to change the color what we need to do go here copy this control C and here remove this so our color will be hashtag it will return a string hashtag FFT333 so we are getting this now go to color we don't need opacity one and this color will be hmm, let me check so we are getting like this now we have to change the data in this one so type will be month I think sales will be mm -mm, month and I think it will be income let me check once what we are getting okay I think it is not saved let me refresh it I think we need to okay control x control x control x we don't need it okay type allies month so here we will to give join then web in March, April, May, June, July, August. Mm -mm. After that, September, September. October then we have November 
and in last we have December December okay so we are getting June so at both places we are getting this now okay sales okay Feb March okay month okay so now what we have to do is I think here it should show let me check basic column okay go to first one type allies and then we have sales okay type sales and sales okay okay so after that we have this recent orders so now do one thing mm, dot empty dash for h3 dot mb dash for recent orders okay and after that we have a div and inside that div we will use and design we have to copy that table component so go to where is table so we need to use the table let me see the code javascript okay no okay yeah so control javascript control c so control v we don't need this button now copy this data Mm -mm. copy this data paste it here and instead of this data take data 1 ok and in last control C here we need to copy this and row selection we don't need so let me check the output okay so we are getting something like this now change it to data one okay so we are getting our data so here one thing we need to do hmm. okay where is our section main so i think i have given main all flow by scroll why it is not working so main 800 ph okay so we need to scroll only this okay now go to index.css open to the side and inside main height 100 ph okay 800 which mm -mm, not like this 800 which 90 which okay still we have a if it will be 80 which or we can take it 85 I think okay, means, yeah now it is perfect and one more thing we need to do main webkit scroll bar width 0 pixel yeah so now it is looking perfect so let me check what data we have here I think all 
where I have opened this. So go to admin. So here we can see status, customer, date, total. Okay. So first one is okay. Title in title we have. Hmm. Serial number we can show. Okay, then we can see name. Okay, name. Or we can show product. Product. And second thing we can show. Control V. It will be status. And data index. Okay, from where this data will come? EII46 data dot push okay so we have key inside this data index we have to pass key and name okay data index name then we have product after that we have status so status then we have product okay let it be for now so we are getting something like this and after that we can show recent reviews okay so for recent reviews what we have to do is so again copy it dot empty dash four h three dot mb dash four mb dash four and recent reviews so after recent reviews we have a div inside this div we have two sections okay so div control c v so class name will be t dash flex mm -hmm. or let it be r this thing we can do every can do everyone can do so we have table okay so for inquiries we have to create one main one more page let me create one file inquiries dot js and there we need this table okay let me go up so first of all r a f c e ref after that we have okay in starting we have control it's not inquiries it's inquiries E N. It's E N. Okay. Control X. H three dot M B dash four. So Control V. And it will be inquiries. So if we go back. So now let's create our inquiries table. So we have H3. Okay, now take a div. Now go to dashboard.js. Copy this. Control C. Control V. Go up. Copy. Control C. Control V. And copy this table. Data. And before that, copy here. Now go to app.js. So let's create a route. So path is equal to inquiries. And our component is inquiries. Okay. Now if we go to inquiries, so here we are able to see this table okay so 
now let's create our block category list so in block category list we need to do the same as in queries let's create a file in pages so pages so blog list dot js so inside refce blog list copy this data control c control v and inside this copy control c and here we need to go control v so blobs list okay blobs list now go to app.js app.js and control c v and go to main layout let me check what name i have what i have given to so blog dash list so blog dash list now go to app.js and give blog dash list and here we will blog list so if we go oh sorry blog blog list we are getting our blog list in our table so same we need to do for blog category list mm, okay control a control c let me close all the files for one for now so pages inside pages we have blog get list dot js control v oh rename it again blog get list dot js so let's change it blog get list and now go to app dot js create one route let me check what i have given here so it will be blog category list control c this one now go to here blog cat list so if you will check it now we are able to open this page also now go to blog cat list and here will be blog categories and let's remove this list okay so here we are getting blog categories so we are done with blog list inquiries okay now let's create orders page so create one file orders dot js so same thing we need to do here when we have data when we will implement it with backend now so that time we will make it dynamic fully so here we have orders orders okay and change it to orders orders okay now go to main layout let me check okay orders now go to app.js create one more route which is orders orders and import the component orders okay so let me open we are able to open this orders page also so after that we have catalog okay let me create customers page so for that we have to create one file named is customers.js same copy this file control a control c now go to v okay and this one is named as customers okay and here we need to write customers okay customers i am creating mean our structure for first after that we will do mean we will make it dynamic fully so here it will come customers and we need to change the component customers okay and if we open this page so we are able to open our customers page okay dashboard page is ready customer is ready orders is ready blog list inquiries is ready let's create color list category list brand list and product list page 
so for that what you need to do is close the unwanted files and let's create a file so that file name is mm, color list.js then go to orders control a control c control v and change it to color list and change it to colors okay now go to app.js let's create one more route and we need to check okay we have list dash color so it will be list dash color and here we need to change our component colors okay oh sorry it's color list so if we go to colors we are getting this now same we need to do for category list let's create one more file mm, category okay blog list okay category list.js now go to color list control a control c control v change this name to category list so category list and here we have to type product categories if now here we have category list so list dash category now go to app.js create one more route so route path control v element it will be category list and make it self close now if we open category list so we are able to see product categories okay i think there is some problem now go to main layout okay list is color list is category okay go back refresh open catalog brand list okay if you have brand list and category list so okay here we have category and same i have done here category so let's change it to brand mm, brand it will be list as brand okay catalog brand list mm, color list category list yeah now it is working properly i think so we are done with category list okay now we have to create brand list so copy this color list control a c create one more file brand list dot js control v change it to brand brand list so here we have brands okay now go to app.js create one more file I mean sorry route so list brand and here we will import brand list so now if you go to category brand list we are able to open brand list page next page we have product dash list so let's create one file product product list dot js now copy con oh wait so go to category list control a c product list now change it to product list and here we have to give products now if we go to app dot js here we need to create one more thing so list test product and here we have to import import product list so now if we go to product list we are getting nothing because in main layout i have done control x 
Yes, we. You guys can make your routes according to your okay choice. So product list. So we are done with dashboard, customers, product list, brand list, category list, color list, orders. In blogs we have blog list. Then we have blog category list and inquiries. Okay so now what we need to do is let's start creating add block category so add block category for that we need to create one file so oh shit control a control a control x and inside this we need to paste Control V. Okay, now go to app.js. Let me check if it is already. Okay. Mm -mm. So here, what we need to do is Control C. Control V. Control V. Control V. Let me check once if it is working properly inquiries blog list orders customers yeah then list but yeah it's working properly so now we will add blog category so let's create one file so its file name is mm, add add blog.js so RFCE inside this we have H3 class name MB-4 add blog okay add blog so after that we have a div inside this div we have a last name d dash flex only we, we don't need this flex for now let me take a form form after creating the whole structure we will give it to we'll we will give the whole app i mean style it okay so now take custom custom input okay so inside this add blog what we need is custom input so title then we have let me check mm -mm -mm. Man, money commerce made open with code let me check the blog model so we have title description category an image okay so title so type shit type is equal to text label will be label is equal to enter blog blog title okay and after that we have a select box inside the select box we have option select log category category and after that we have hmm, we will use react rte so react rt is rich text editor so let's open it in new tab so we are going to use this okay so let's install this so in powershell control v okay mm -mm. 
or do one thing dash dash force okay so it is installed so to use react test editor what we need is okay prop types mm -mm. okay let me copy this control c control v and here we have control c Control V. <coughs> Let me create state. So const value mm, description desc comma set desc is equal to use state use state blank for now. Okay. Now after that we have a function so const mm, handle description is equal to this and inside this we have to on change we have mm -mm. Okay, we have handle description avt dot target avt. Okay, from here we also need to avt dot target dot value and if we const handle description, so here we will get e and set description and here we need to pass e oh let me check first log it log e and if we check here we are getting okay one thing we need to do go to main layout and we are adding blog okay add blog so add blog will go to blog so now go to app.js control c okay where is here control c control v control c so here it will go to blog and that file name is add add blog now if we go to add blog okay blog element blog now here we have blog I think there is some problem refresh okay I think there is some problem console oh sorry but it sh should give error now okay you state is here oh sorry so here we need to give description i think now we will get the value okay did you mean class name where i have given class okay let me check class main browser router custom input form mm -mm. Did you mean class name? Okay, section add blog in add blog. Where is class? Okay, class name, class name. Mm -mm. Okay, we go to. okay reading get editor state so values description 
handle description give it a target value mm -mm. what's the problem here head block okay if we remove it let me check okay so i think there is some problem in this this rich text editor so let me check once mm -mm. okay github okay top types Mm -hmm. okay change I have imported it let me remove this for now Mm -mm. okay i don't know why it is not working so we have react rte okay Okay. okay let's check something other than this we will not mm -mm. react will we have one more text editor that we can use now control this so npm uninstall npm uninstall react dash rte remove this all things okay Oops. So till then let's see how it will work. So okay. It will. So this we will get something like this. Okay now npm i react dash quill. I don't know why it is making dash dash legacy legacy dash peer dash steps okay so now we can use this so control c okay control c and Control V. After that, we have read quill. So Control C, and it will come here. Control V. So theme is equal to snow. Value is equal to description. D E S C on change. We need to handle 
EVT EVT then handle description EVT dot target dot value so let's check what we are getting okay so we are getting this one if we inspect it and go to console okay reading value EVT dot target dot value <clears throat> duplicate key blog that we can check let me correct it duplicate key blog okay here we have one blog okay blogs so one error is removed let me check this class also where i have given class dot mm -hmm. okay basis we have add dog class name class name same here class name class name mm -hmm. class name Control F last Here we need to make class name and last name. So let's check. So now our app is error free. And if we do this, we are getting error. Okay, cannot read properties of undefined reading value. So go to add blog. So pass it only here EVT and let me check. Mm -mm. Okay, so we are getting this. So now what we have to do is set description E. Okay, and now let me give some style to it. So to select, we need to give class name form desk control. Control. Okay, PY dash 3. And it will have some padding of sorry margin bottom mb3 and let me change this theme let me check what themes we have okay themes themes no okay themes no theme bubble okay themes no Now is a clean flat toolbar theme. Mm -mm. History keyboard toolbar. Editor content formatting. Okay. Leave it. So after that, what we have? Mm, form. Inside form we have quill its background color will be white so background color will be white so open app.css to the right and dot quill background color white okay so we are getting this after that what we have to do is we have to give a button button add 
block and its type will be submit give class class name btn btn dash success okay border dash zero rounded dash three so we are getting this now my dash five okay and here we are going to use one more thing react stepper so react form stepper okay this thing we will use so copy it control c terminal okay so control v and install it oh yeah so i will find this why i am getting this again and again and i will tell you guys i think it's because of this undesigned and undesigned charts in next project we will not use it okay so here we will use our react stepper so control c okay stepper label one copy control c and go here control v and let me check what we are getting is stepper is not defined okay stepper is not defined for that we need to do control c control v okay so we are getting this now here our active step is mm -mm, active step is one so step one is and blog details third step is upload images then finish okay finish after that we have okay this is done now mm -mm. and blog and blog image okay mm -mm. okay so next step is on design getting started so here we need upload mm -mm. control c javascript okay post get 64 day 64 image url that we don't need Okay, action is equal to this on change. Okay, inbox outline command design icons. Okay, control C. I think we need we will not use stepper here. Leave it. Hmm. So control V and oh, 
sorry here we need to import it so import i think there is import type import type okay so const dragger is equal to upload oh i think it's in javascript so on drop control c and control v control x and paste it here control v and after that we have p tracker open control c and before this input control v and let's check so we are getting this <coughs> output so let me wrap it in view control v so class name mt-3 or we can give 4 okay so if we upload any image we are getting this okay so that's it for ad blog so now let's move to ad blog category so in ad blog let me create one file add block cat dot js rename it add block cat dot js okay let me do one more thing i need to read npm uninstall okay let it be so r a f c e so inside this we have h3 oh shit control z so h3 dot mb dash 4 so add blog category okay in add blog category we have div so we still have a form and inside this we have a custom input this custom input have type is equal to text label is equal to enter blog enter blog category okay and after that we have a submit button control c control v so add blog category now go to main layout.js and let's check blog list okay blog dash category so control c go to app.js so control c v it will be add block category it will go to this block text category so let's check add block category so we are getting this yeah it's perfect so we are done with add block block list add block category block category list okay so now we have to do same for color go to add block category control a control c now create one file add color.js control v change it to add color so here we need to do add color and add color okay enter color and enter oh, shit color and its type will be color now go to app.js let's first check main layout it will go to color so control c v add color 
and it will go to color now if you will check so in color we are getting this okay now go to category so go to add block category control a control c create a file add cat dot js control v let's remove only this blog blog this blog okay and we have add cat now go to app go let's check first so it will be category now mm, control c v so it will be add cat and category now if you click on category so we are getting this okay same we need to do for brand so let's create that brand 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 where is control c v so it will go to brand and okay let me create the component first sorry page so add brand dot js so inside this control a control c control v so it will be add brand and here we will write add brand okay and let's check we are getting brands okay both of them are same go to app.js and here add brand okay so we are getting this now only product list is pending and okay product list is done add product is pending so let's create a page let me close all of the files okay now create a page named add product dot chase refce okay control x h3 dot h3 last name mb-4 add product okay after that we have a div inside the div we have a form okay and in form we have a button we will create one custom button also so button so here button will come now if we go to add product okay let me create the route for that so add product go to go to go to app.js and here we need to write okay where is product okay control c v it will go to product and add product okay now we are getting this and product let me check a product model mm -mm. okay product i think one thing i am missing okay we are missing the coupon section so okay we will take it also so now go to product model in product model we need title description okay let me write not bad here we need title description okay price after that we have category color we need brand we need quantity we need Mm, sold item will be images okay rating total rating total rating rating will come automatically images okay sold quantity we have to add brand category we have to add price description yeah that's it so now go to that file 
okay we are also done with it okay so first we have title so custom input type is equal to text label is equal to mm -hmm. enter product title okay after that we have description so here also we will use okay the text editor so where it is blog oh category add blog okay add blog now copy this control c control v and okay select control c after that we have control v and before that we have add blog and this state control c control v and here we need to import comma use state okay so we are getting this now okay product title price so for price we need mm, copy this control v type will be number and enter product price okay enter product price mm, and let's wrap it in the all do one thing for next still control v last name mb-3 okay enter product price after that we have category okay category color brand for category color brand for that we will use select box okay so we have the select box control c mm. okay category color brand so select category select color and select brand i think this select brand will come here before this control v okay so we are getting this now in last we have quantity so for quantity we need this control c control v and go to add blog okay copy this control c and paste it here control v and app to add blog mm. here we need drag control c okay after that control v let me check what we are getting yeah so in the last we have to write add product okay so i think i'm done with the main part so let's take a look on our css part okay go to dashboard let's customize our product i mean sorry admin panel style so now i am starting from dashboard so go to dashboard dashboard okay where is dashboard here mm -hmm. okay we have income stats okay first let me close this now we have income stats mm -hmm. okay okay so control x do class name d dash flex gap dash three justify content between and copy it here now if you will check mm -mm. okay i think there is some problem what happened to this 
npm start let me start the server again okay let me close all the tabs so login okay so after that in empty dash 4 we have to give flex dash grow dash 1 okay i think this table is to do one thing w dash 50 mm -mm, it's not looking good control z okay okay let me give the css to mean this text so what we will do is inspect it it's 328 roboto 212529 okay now go to app.css open to the side let's create the root variable so mm, root root dash dash color dash it's two one two two one two five two nine so two one two five two nine okay hashtag two one two five two nine okay so second color is this one so if it's FFD333, so dash dash color as FFD333 hashtag FFD333. Okay. And here we have it's 47824 dash dash color dash 47A d24 hashtag 478 d24 okay then we have this red color oh sorry red color it's e52 e2 e so hashtag e5 e e2 e oh sorry let me check again e52 E to E, E five two, E to E, E five two, E to E, and dash dash color dash E five two, E to E. Okay, so after that we have this color, so it will be eight to eight, F nine nine. So dash dash color s eight two eight five nine nine hashtag eight two eight five nine nine okay so this one we are not using active users recent orders okay let me check what we have done recent orders mm -mm okay i think that's it mm, yeah now product list okay here we need to give button and here we need to change the color also let me check this color Okay, it's FFT333. I think there is some. Mm -mm. Three D four six four D. Three D four six four D. So dash dash color dash three D four three D four six four D. So six four D 
हैश टैग थ्री डी फोर सिक्स फोर डी ओके सो दिस ग्रीन कलर विल बी वेर डैश दिस इट विल बी वेर डैश डैश दिस ओके नाउ लेट मी गिव डेट फॉर्म डैश कंट्रोल फॉर्म कंट्रोल तो बॉक्स शेडो नन बॉक्स शेडो विल बी नन एंड इफ यू गो टू एनी प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट सो इट्स बॉर्डर कलर विल बी सी ई डी फोर डी ए सी ई डी फोर डी ए सो डैश डैश कलर डैश सी ई डी फोर डी ए हैश टैग सी ई डी फोर डी ए सो बॉर्डर कलर विल बी वेर दिस सी ई डी Okay, leave it. So let me check. So ultra log at product. Okay. So. Hmm. Hmm. Now. Go to dashboard. Let's check this. So robot o twenty eight pixel. Inspect. Okay. So it will be. So mm -mm, dot. Title. The title will be font size. Twenty eight pixel font family will be. Roboto. and it will be important so next three okay let's close all of this and blog title control c control v Mm -mm. Control V. Control V. Again, okay, inquiries control V. In forgot password also no need. Control V. Product list control V. And in reset password. Let me give it here also control V. Login. And then we have forgot password. Okay. So, robot twenty eight. Yeah, minutes twenty four. Let me give one more class. Let me close all of this. Auto approve CSS. So dot sub. Test title. Control C, Control V. So it will be twenty four pixel. Now go to dashboard. Control C, dashboard. Inside this we have H six KP total.
ok now let's check this it's 14 pixel roboto so <coughs> let me give the css dot script whatever you can you can give here i am giving randomly so here we need to give dsc control c mm, recent orders okay control v control v this total okay so let's check okay a to add f99 so go to here so color will be where a to add this and its color will be 215 to 9 so color will be where 21 to this same for this color will be where this okay so now it's 14 pixel roboto mm -mm. so font size 14 pixel Font family will be Roboto important. Okay, Roboto important, and this income stats will be <coughs> income statics and it is five. Okay, now it is fine. This one is also fine. Product. Let me create one button. I think this button is okay. Yeah. Orders. Okay, now go to React icons. React icons. inside react icons we need edit mm -mm. edit 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 it's taking so much time so inside edit we need this one okay so this one i'm taking so let's start with product list so import this from react icons slash pi and second one is delete mm -mm. okay this one is bi now ai db okay let's copy this here so import this from react icons the spi or oh sorry ai okay and here we need to pass it dynamically so that thing we will do when we will make it dynamic now so that thing we will do that time Okay, DC. Okay. So this is our admin panel. Oh, one thing I forgot. There are some more pages. Profile, settings, sign out. So 
now go to dashboard.js oh okay. we need to go in main layout hmm where is that header menu okay menu here we have that header so inside this header we have this image and inside this image what we need to do is div dot drop down okay mm -hmm. bootstrap 5 drop down Okay, drop down dash menu. Hold C. Control V. Class name. And this one I need href role between. Shift Control C. Okay, now do Control V. So I think. All is equal to button ID. Yeah, now it is good. Mm, inside this, we have mm, li control C and this drop down menu control V. If we check. We are getting nothing <laughs> okay let me check fail to execute get computer style did you mean class name okay class <laughs> class name refresh okay parameter one is not defined parameter one let me check where it is coming okay we have drop down menu idps drop down toggle okay oh one more thing we need to do is hmm okay where i have given that class hmm Okay, class drop down okay oh control y control y remove this from here control x and give it to this okay and to this due we need to give drop down and let's check if it is working yeah it's coming properly so let's customize it mm -mm. py dash 2 oh sit last name py dash 2 okay i think so drop down item by dash 2 mb dash 0 i think mb dash 1 and mb by dash 1 okay Mm -mm. Font weight. Okay. Where is line height? I think it's because of line height. Yeah. So, what we need to do is style. height will be auto 
comma line height will be also 20 pixel control shift r so we are getting this now mm, change it to link this will be two two oh, now i am limit link okay link is not defined so we have to do is import link from direct router dom okay and inside this we have Mm, okay, first one is view profile. Change. Mm, ID sign out. Sign out. Remove this. Okay, so we are getting this now. You guys can like make your custom CSS whatever you want to give now I'm not focusing on more on UI so I am going to show you only how you can create admin panel structure okay how you can create your routes okay how you can use charts how you can use tables okay so thank you guys thanks for watching this video let's meet in the next video if you liked my content please subscribe to my channel okay and share my videos thank you guys